everything. Uh Hello beautiful souls, it's Jelena here, and on today's episode we're doing a new series. We're, we're starting a new series. It is going to be a Powerpuff Girls series, seeing as the show there has been, um, to be a Powerpuff Girl series, seeing as there has been rumors, no, in, um, talk, have been word that they are making a Powerpuff Girl TV show on Netflix. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I've seen the casting, it looks like a fun casting. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really have much to say. I didn't really grow up watching Powerpuff Girls, but the aesthetic is really cute, and I've always liked the aesthetic. That being said, this is part one. We're doing Blossom, and yeah, next episode should be Buttercup, which is my favorite, personally, and then the one after will be Bubbles. That's it. <laughs> I thought I would just do Blossom. This is the look. If you liked it, please watch the rest of the video, and if you don't like it, well, could you watch anyway? <laughs> That being said, let's get started. Okay, so normally I'd be wearing a bunch of face makeup and stuff, but I've been having a lot of acne issues lately, and you can see it with the bright light, it's hard to tell. And it's also mostly under my chin and a little bit on my forehead here, so it's a little hard to tell. But it's there, and it's annoying me, and <laughs> I don't want to worry about it, so I'm not going to be wearing any face stuff. But that doesn't stop us from doing eyes and eyebrows and lips, right? So why not? First, I'm going to grab a brush like this. I'm going to grab this color. And then I'm gonna put it in the crease of my eye. So it's a pinkish color, super soft pink. I'm like a baby pink almost, I guess. It's not coming up as much as I'd like. So let's grab another, actually, let's grab my Sailor Moon palette. The color will be over there. So I'm gonna put that in the crease like this. Then we're gonna go back into the James Charles palette and then the color will be over there. And I wanted a little more pink, so I'm just gonna do that right now. That's better, so much better. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go a little like this over here. Just gonna keep doing that until I get the desired shape I want. Then I'm gonna grab this brush. I'm gonna put that color, <laughs> put it in my crease crease. More in there, way more precise. So right here. I want to blend it in and use the other brush that we use. You going back in with the same pink. I'm just going to blend it and then we'll add more red again. I just really want this to be really, really pink and red, actually. So then we're going to go back in with that precise brush and go really harder with the red. Much more like a very clear line of red, I guess. I'm going to be right back and then we'll get some makeup remover just to clean up the edge. And I'll be right back. On um, by. Okay, so we're going to clean up the edge. Nicely. See, because I'm not wearing any foundation, so I can do that. Damn it, I kind of up. Okay, but I fixed it. Okay, see? It's gonna go like that. I'm just gonna clean up here that point. Clean this bad way. Now, I'm gonna grab this brush, brush like this, and I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna go back in with that red, so it's a little wet, and I'm gonna do that. Trace it right at the top here. I'm gonna go under. And I'm gonna really go at it at the bottom here. Make this line a little thicker. So it looks kind of like that. Now we're gonna use the concealer because now we, we need it. It's a, I'm doing a bit of a cut crease. So I'm gonna grab a brush like this and I'm gonna, yeah, cut the crease exactly how I said. Oh god, I messed up. So I cleaned it up. Gosh, I put too much powder to set it and there was a bit of green. This look is going really wonkily. I'm gonna spray again. I'm gonna grab a bit of white and then a bit of the purple that's up there. Because I noticed something about all the Powerpuff Girls. When they close their eyes, they all have purple eyelids. And I wanted to play with that. So every girl will have some sort of purple in her look is what I'm going for. So I'm gonna grab again that color. I'm gonna grab a bit more white this time actually. And I'm gonna, put the, I'm gonna dab the white on top. Just to lighten it because it's a little darker purple than I'd like. Then, now I gotta think. I need a minute. <laughs> Now, like I said, because I want this to be a little more pink, um, I'm gonna take my pink eyeliner and I'm gonna line that really harsh line we have there from bottom all the way around. Yeah, it's hard to tell I find on the camera, but in person you can tell the big distinction. Um, so, uh, so again, the color will be up there. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use this shimmer all the way down here. Quite a bit, I've worn a lot of shimmer. Look at that, like a lot of shimmer. <laughs> and then to tie it all together, I really want the red. Use that same brush. I'm gonna clean up the red on the side there and then I'm gonna put it under as well. 
there. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye, do the mascara, and then we'll be right back for the lip gloss, and that will be it. Okay, so I finished up the eyes. Now, I, uh, we're just gonna do the lips, and that will be it. I don't really own red, and the only red that I do own, I won't. I already wore in the Sailor uh, Mars video, so I thought I would do a little bit. It's a little hard to see. They're more like burgundy hair clips, but I thought they would be cool. Then, I'm gonna grab my uh, Snow White lipstick. It's very, very red, and I'm just gonna on my lip. I always mess up the bottom of my lip. <laughs> Good thing I'm not wearing any foundation because I could just go clean it up. Now because I really want it glossy. I have this really nice red gloss and so I'm just gonna put it over. Yeah so as you can see I got some on my teeth. To avoid that, so the trick a friend a friend in high school taught me, just open your mouth, put your finger through it like this. And yeah you just take that off and then you can with that trick, you can be almost sure to have no lipstick on your teeth. It's a really good trick. Okay, so that completes this look. If you liked it, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I make videos every Fridays and I go, I'm i going to try to make videos during the week, but right now it doesn't really look like it as my schedule is starting to get busier and busier. That being said, if you would like, you can follow me on Instagram at Jelena Theos. And if you're interested in acting coaching, you can follow me at Jelena Acting Coaching. I still don't have an outro, so bye.